Hello, welcome back. Just entering perfect three, and I have a bit of curiosity. If I go back... Uh, okay, no, he says the same things entering these floors as he did... Uh, going downward as he did going upward. And move my cursor to the middle every time I go up. That's weird. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, alright, so killing spot is here. Serpent gets out of this. Okay, sure. Same thing as always. Each of these floors has had a different, uh, different graphical theme. I wonder if I could estimate the number of floors I will have by the number of graphical themes that are in the editor. Or at least were at the time of Journey to Hold. I don't know how many have been added since then, but I'm pretty sure at least one has. Okay, so both ways are roughly the same. I don't think the slight differences are going to be important. Uh, I should have timed this differently, although I think... Yeah, that's actually perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Trapdoor gate. Trapdoors, roach queens that are going to spawn there, 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 and all those. Okay, well this looks straightforward. Brain. I have... Well, I was going to say I have the option of having these down here or up there, but no, it's really just here or there. And to be there, I have to wait for a spawn cycle, which is okay. I wonder if that's better. I'm going to try this this way for... Okay, sure. So those run away. Right, and they're brained, so they're going to be extra... Extra good at getting away. Well, not through these doors. Not until they can see me. All right, well, let's just do this the simple way and see what goes wrong. See what's going to go wrong. This is indefensible. Right? Uh, not necessarily, but it's pretty nasty. Uh, I feel like I need a plan of which direction to go. None of them are better than any of the others, though, particularly. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. There might be a way through that. I don't feel like trying that exactly that way right now. Oh, I think I've heard things about this room. There's some... some solution that involves filling these all the way up with roaches or something. Let's see. So this doesn't change much if I wait here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I see how it is. Right, if I were to, say, get each Roach Queen into those spots, hold them there with Roaches, which involves filling up a lot of the rest of this with Roaches, then I could kill them pretty easily and take care of their offspring separately. Is that the intended solution? So the absolute quickest I can take out these trapdoors is how many turns? That's 30. That's 60. I could have hit the orb that turn with a different sword orientation, so... Ugh. 79 turns, two spawn cycles, close to another one. I don't think this is likely to go anywhere good, especially with a brain there. But for some reason I feel like trying it a little more. No, there's no way that's ever going to work. So I think I need to pursue other options. I can't do exactly that for these. Those can't be pushed out of their places. All the others can, though. Alright. So... 
can I get you, at least? Not quite. But I can get both of these at a time. Uh... Oh, come on, just move! 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 <laughs> ah. Oh, wait, you're not where I wanted you? Ah, I never checkpointed. Right, whatever. Okay, well, maybe this right here is good enough. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, that was the... Ah, stupid thing my computer does sometimes where it takes focus away from the running full-screen game for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so if I have this, I think I need at least... Oh... Well, let's see what it's like to do this with just those two trapped. I don't think this is going to work because I have to face a, sort of away from them to hit the orb is the problem. Uh, then again, actually this seems maybe manageable. Not entirely pleasant. Are they going to find their way around here? They are. Except, no, they're not. Why are you not finding your way to me? Because this path is shorter. Got it. Okay, so I'm in a good spot here. Oh, man. I don't want to do this, though. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, maybe eight. eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yep. Can't do that. Can I make it into one of those places? Yes. Uh, can I survive there? No. Okay, so let's try moving you here before hitting the orb. Uh, where am I exactly? Okay, start over. This might be better if instead of that... Oops. Oh wait, no, that's right. If instead of that, I go up this way. That way you move at the same time. Oh. Alright, well that's four of them at least. That's probably good enough. I could do more. Should I do more? I don't really feel like doing more. Let's see if it, this is manageable. It ought to be. Uh, actually, what is my plan here? Well, as long as I don't step outside this square... Well, as long as I don't step north of this row or west of this column... Uh, no more will come from those directions. So this should work, right? I don't see why not. Yeah, that's not a safe spot. Uh, I wish I could get in there a little quicker. Yeah, I have to go all the way back here to have a good killing space. I mean, that works, I guess. Trying hard to advance here. There we go. Alright, that seems fine. Right, I remember. This is bringing me back to that one secret room in Journey to Rooted Holds. 
uh, with health and the, uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, and the stuff, um, where I was trying to advance against a very large horde of brained roaches and just could not do it. Yeah, moving forward with brained monsters is a lot harder than unbrained ones. Sometimes. I'm kind of dead here. I feel like I did that faster. So maybe that was enough fast. Oh yeah, that was way faster. Good. I don't feel safe turning south here. Alright, so as solutions go, that didn't feel extremely inelegant. I imagine that can be done better. But that was acceptable by my standards. Oops. Certainly will not place in leaderboards. Roach Queen Grass, Roach Queen Grass, Force Arrow. Aha, I see. This has to be my first move. Uh, oh, wait. Ooh. Okay, I want to move just before they spawn, I think. So on 29, or uh, 28, actually. No, wait, it is 29, because they move, then spawn. Uh, will that work? No. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. No, because you're on the arrow now. Mm. I guess that might be okay, because I can kill that one. Keep those two in play. Mm. No, no, that doesn't work because if I'm... Oh, okay, I can move him off it. Just barely quickly enough. All right. Problem is I gotta get to the other side now. And there's another on the arrow, of course. Uh, okay, well, can I do that? No. Can I do it if I wait twice? Yes. No, oh, no. Let me start this again. What's up with this? That's a trap for you, I see. Alright, whatever. So this spot is important to stopping those from running south immediately. This spot may be similarly important in some way. Let's see, so last time I tried letting them spawn right there. What if I go one more south? So, on 28. Mm, I don't feel too great about that. Especially since this one won't have any roach eggs to immobilize her, so she's just going to go down that way, because you'll get out of the way, you'll get out of the way, and then you'll have a clear passage down there. Unless I go, like, n Uh, no. Oh, well. Weirdly, that kind of worked out. Once again, though, I still have to switch sides, so I have done nothing that has actually helped me in comparison to the previous solution. Hmm.
Uh, well, this is stable at least, but it won't... Well... Oh wait, no it's not. This is stable. I have tried this exact thing, haven't I? What do I want to do here? Could I... Well, this... I, I don't see how this will help me, but what if I fill this up just a little bit more? I do see how that helps me, kinda. But then you escape. Well, what if I do that and wait just a little while longer? So I'm gonna let that happen. Wait until, I don't know, 23 or so? Then what happens here? What happens is they go too far south. I can't catch up with, well, Am I sure about that? No, they're immobilized. Okay. This is fine. They're too far south to get out of there, though. Oh, but these are now blocked. Which means I can never kill those. Oh, no. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I can pull them out on these sides. Uh... Hmm. I was afraid that might happen. Okay, so that's... I think I'm on the right track, maybe. I just need to go a little bit later. Like, say, 26? 26 feels okay. That might still be a little bit too late. Uh, no, it's the op... Wait, what? Okay, my problem is that I was, uh... What's my problem? I'm gonna wait one more. And then... Okay, so now let's try 26. No, I just get stuck there for too long. So I want to, if I, if I want that to happen, I need to wait one more. Okay, let's see. If I were to move here, I'd cause a chain reaction which would cause this roach to move, basically. Uh, let's try 24 and see what happens. That's too early. Let's try 26 and see what happens. Wasn't able to make it there in time. Let's try 28 and see what happens. Oh wait, I can just stand here. Right, okay. So from here... 26. I don't know why I like 26 so much. It's the number I've chosen. It's no good. Let's try 28. No. No good. Well, I'm confused. I made this kind of work once, didn't I? What did I do differently? How did this... Well, they went a lot farther south, which gave me the opportunity to get farther over here. Got it. Okay. Uh, so, if I'm here... I have, what, five turns after they lay their eggs to get to a new position? One, two, three, four, five... That's never gonna work. Unless the farthest south the Roche Queen is is here, then I'm never gonna get from here to the... Uh, Well, what if I fill this up a little more? I 
I mean, that gives me more time to get through there. Which probably actually... That's just going to do it on its own, right? If I just go and don't worry about timing for a bit... Those slowly empty out. I do need to worry about timing. Alright, how long was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight turns before they can lay their eggs productively. Alright, so let's go on... Uh... 22. Alright, safe. Now from here, uh, I can move around all I want and they're fine. Nobody has a route out of here. Well, you might. Do you? No. Turn order did not work out that way. If I have them lay some eggs, will it help? Maybe? Let's see, how's this gonna work? Mm, probably not the way I want it to, no. All right, well, I've switched sides again. Great. I'm not really getting anything done. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go through this dance again because it doesn't seem... See, this this is different because there's two here and only one here. I don't... I don't immediately understand the significance of that. I don't really have a plan for how to get from here to... Okay, so one difference this makes is that chasing a roach queen out this way means she'll go here instead of here, which is better. So maybe this is the only direction I can go. Alright, well, let me work on getting to the other side again. So I, of course, cannot do that. Which means what? I need to fill this up again? Alright, let's see how this goes. Interestingly, they stay put. Okay, I had enough that they didn't get out. Is that good? Maybe. Actually, if I don't kill all those, let's keep some in there. Uh, but then those can't move. Yeah, I can't have this blocked and also chase a roach queen out of there. Those are conflicting goals. Okay, well, I have a checkpoint on this side. I'm going to get this cleared up just a little bit more. Eh, not too much more. That might already be too much. Uh, yes, it is. So if I do that with different timing... I'm going to go... when exactly? How about now? Okay, that worked. Now, why did I want to do that? Because I think I might be able to get a queen out now. Like that. I can get both. Oh, well, there we go. That was all I needed. Neat. Ooh. Uh... I can handle both of these at a time. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, I'll take it. I feel like I should try that again and try to optimize better, but I don't want to. Do you have some form of scripted events? This should be a good test to see if the adventurer can use perfect technique. Okay. What sort of perfect technique do I need here? Serpent is doing that. I need, what, a mud baby to get in there? Tar baby. Okay, tar baby's gotta go in there. Those bombs kill all of those things. Mud babies will be coming from four directions to get in my way. I need a tar baby to spawn, block the serpent. Uh... Serpent needs to make a full rotation before that can be possible. Mud babies will be coming from those directions. I want to be standing like here with my sword south. Let's this first. Be a good test oh wait, I can't stand the there. Can use perfect technique. Well, if I can't get down there to block you, then what do I need to do for it? What does he say if I do this? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, so I don't get to touch anything other than these fuses, any tar and mud babies that come north to me or out of there. Oh man. Okay, so this, what does this mean? Serpent's going this way a lot easier if it were going the other way, of course. But it's not. Setting off the... I, I don't see any way that setting off these bombs is ever going to help me before I've killed the serpent. I could stack up an entire column of tar babies all the way up to here if I wasn't going to get killed by mud coming from other directions. I could do that in any column other than these two. Well. Uh. Or anything to the west of here. Or here, effectively. Well, no, those are... Mm, yeah. Uh, I need a plan. I have to move around and turn my sword to deal with mud babies, so I can't just be standing here the whole time for, for Tar to stack up. A theme on this level so far in the rooms that I've played seems to be that rooms are taking a very large number of turns if I have to do something like build a tower of mud babies here. Tar, whatever. Little blue blobs. Uh, oh boy. This does not seem like a room where it's useful to jump in and start doing things because I don't... I don't have an overall plan, so I don't know what, what I'm trying to do yet, other than kill serpents somehow, using Tar Baby because that's the only thing that can interact with it. Oh, wait. Could I... Could I shorten it by one each spawn cycle? Just do the time, timing somehow? This should be a good test to see if the adventurer can use perfect technique. So how do those line up exactly? This cycle I won't be able to do anything. So just survive. Next cycle, probably not, but maybe. Maybe. Uh, yes. Uh, no, because of turn order. Aw, oh, man. 
Oh wait, that did work. Okay, because of turn order, it worked later than I expected. Got it. I'm dead though. Uh. The adventurer did not use perfect technique. Okay, where do I want to be for this? That was okay. Alright, so I got one. I kind of feel like counting this ring to know how many it is, but at the same time I don't want to. I would like to have the information, I don't want to go through the process of gaining the information. But just doing this, uh, looks like it's going to work out okay. Sure. I'm going to have to go west by one each time. That's fine. So that would mean that it is exactly 60 around here, if I'm interpreting that correctly. Good. I wonder if this is what he considers perfect technique, or if it's something else. At the very least, this is good enough to get the job done technique, unless... Ooh, I have not counted to see if I will have enough space to eventually kill the serpent with a diagonal from here. I suspect I will. Yeah, I should, I think. someplace there. Good. Yeah. One more will do it. Cool. views from here. Alright, got it. <laughs> Did it. That was not the perfect technique. The serpent can be killed before it completes two loops. Ah, uh, really? Fine. Fine, I'll do your challenge. actually understand how, though. That was the only way I could see it actually interact with the thing. Before it completes two loops. This should be a good test. So, okay. One thing I can do is... though. Like, that just amounts to the same thing. One move to the north. Oh, but no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Tar Baby goes here. Got it. Got it. Oh, I didn't need to reset. Ooh. 
That makes things super interesting. Okay, I need to be prepared carefully for that. I need to face this way. Uh, that's fine. That will not be a problem. I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this. Uh, oh. Oh boy. Yes, perfect technique. In fact... Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna push my luck. I get a mimic. Mimic goes here, does that. I have to keep my sword one way. It looks like I've chosen the correct way already. This is gonna be fairly easy to deal with everything. Oh, well, not exactly. Okay, I see. So, first thing I should have done differently would be this. Got it. Okay, so it's this. This feels pretty good. I don't I don't feel right about this move though, but maybe it's fine. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that, that move is a problem. But how do I avoid it? I don't... I don't know. So wait, what went wrong here? Maybe... what went wrong... I have a theory. Oh, nah, I've done it again. I have a theory that I want my sword like this. No, that, that amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. So wait, this is not the same. This is three, that's four. So shouldn't it have worked? But well, no, it, it does amount to the same thing because this doesn't matter. Where I start makes no difference, okay. So either of these ways should be good as the, oh wait. Now hang on, I can, I do have the option to swing this way. Well, I don't really, though. Or, well, I do, but it doesn't help me. Hmm. A move that takes me east is definitely preferable to one that takes me n just north or south. One more time. What can I do differently here? I definitely have time to checkpoint. Uh... If I were to wait... That's exactly the same as doing this. Okay, so no difference there. I feel like it's right in this section where I need to do something different. What that thing is, I don't know, though. Oh, wait, I just did it, didn't I? 
kinda. How was that? Yeah, so it was a north instead of a... Well, but I still can't make the diagonal here, which is what I really want to do. Yes, I can. Like that. Got it. Okay, that's enough. No, it's not. It's the same problem. Right, of course, because a move north is the same as waiting. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I, I see what I want to do. How do I do it, though? If I go north there... I can't end up the way I want to end up. That's the same thing I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> so no, northeast or southeast? It doesn't make a difference. It's the exact same thing. One might make it a little easier to get to one of these checkpoints than the other. And I feel like I was hitting them more easily with this. So I guess I'll switch back to that. Now, okay, well, here's a question. Can I influence the way these come out of here somehow? I think they're just going to do whatever they're going to do due to turn order. Oh, but there's this little thing here. Does that change something? No, no. Nothing changes? Okay. Nope. And what I did there was... a waste of time. Well now, uh... No, I can't get the first killing blow diagonally there, can I? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, no. Wait, wait, what have I done? What I've done is not started all the way to the south. Okay. Sure seems like that's the only possible way to do that first bit. Those amount to the same thing. There's no difference. I can't get far enough south for this. What am I missing? A different initial mimic orientation could not possibly make a difference here. I can't do anything to get him out of sync with my sword here. I can't just sit here and defend it because I can't turn. I'm going to watch... Okay, let's see. Turn order. 26, 25, 24, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And am I sure there's... No, there really is nothing I can do with any walls to influence how these come out. So this really is just all about the way that I move here. As 
far south as I can be. All the way up. Doesn't have to be all the way up, but I don't see how it would help me to do this any differently. And then... This silliness happens. Like, I can't make that work. That just gets me stuck there. So turning is not the answer. I need to move there. What? What move is available to me that I'm not doing? It was at this point during video editing that I had the necessary insight to be able to complete this puzzle. So what happened was I spent like another 45 minutes just messing around in here trying to figure out what to do, trying the exact same actions and having no change in consequence. I'd either get uh, into this corner and have an extra tar baby killing me here, or into this corner having an extra one killing me here. This is a pure insight-based puzzle. Without figuring out the specific action you need to do that's not immediately obvious, there is no completing it. So, I did realize that it was at this point I needed to do something different. I knew I couldn't turn my sword this way. What I didn't think of doing was turning my sword all the way around that way. And look at that. That gives me enough turns. <laughs> okay, I feel better about this puzzle now. I was very... Uh, uh oh Okay, here. <laughs> I was not happy with being unable to solve it before. Okay, great, great. Exit level. Uh, so I'm gonna dare to step into this there next... Are some things I must explain. Meet me upstairs in the octagon chamber. Oh! I hate it when people act like I want to talk to them. <laughs> octagon chamber, upstairs. You want to explain something. If this looks trivial, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I'll save it for next time. I'm going to say this looks non-trivial. Okay, I'm going to save this for next time. So I'll do a triangle and go upstairs to the octagon. Okay, that gives me a hint. Octagon chamber. That's going to be floor eight. Probably. Probably. All right, so I'm guessing I have eight floors total to go through here. Okay, see you next time for uh, the last little bit of this floor. I wonder if I missed any secrets. I'm going to peek around for cracked walls. Uh, otherwise, I will complete this room, then go up to the next floor. I'll see you then.